It's a bench, yes, but it's also much more. senior design team, the bench warmers. My role for this project was project manager. Hello, my name is Donna Vaughn, and my role for this project was the design lead. Hello, my name is Beverly Martin, and my role for this project was hardware lead. We also had a fourth member of our project, the research lead, Ashley Johnson, but she couldn't be here with us to make this video. Together, our team designed, tested, and built a solar-powered charging bench, or an SPCB for our senior design project here at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. We completed this project in about 14 weeks in the fall semester of 2014. We submit this video for your review and consideration. The concept of our project came about because we recognized a specific need on our campus. Mobile devices such as tablets, cell phones, and laptops are increasingly prevalent today. In fact, 98% of 18 to 29 year olds own some type of cell phone or mobile device. So obviously, students on campus are using their devices constantly, draining their batteries to complete assignments and entertain themselves. The problem is that students must stay indoors tethered to a wall socket when they run out of charge. We came up with a solution that allows people to spend their time outdoors while also being able to charge their electronic devices. We started our design process by determining the projected daily use of the charging station. We postulated that a single user might use the bench about 20 minutes and that we expect an average of nine people to use the bench each day. So we designed for roughly three hours of daily use. From there, we determined the maximum watt hours we would expect in a day. We selected a battery and other components to meet these requirements. We purchased everything we used to build the SPCB from local vendors and online. Though we used off-the-shelf components, our design called upon our engineering knowledge to assure a successful end product. Since our charging station is located outdoors and on a university campus, attention was taken to assure that it was protected from the elements and vandalism. Our enclosure features a lockable door to protect from theft and tampering. We also used a 10-foot pole to keep people from touching our solar panel. So in our design, we used a NEMA 4 enclosure to enclose all of our electronic components. We also incorporated a hooded vent uh, to get adequate airflow during the warmer months into our electronics. Uh, we used a GFCI outlet with a hooded, with a weatherproof hood uh, to keep out uh, the weather and the elements. We used seal tight conduit to keep uh, rainwater out of out of our box and off of our wire. We also have a ground rod that is installed underneath this pad to ensure that we have a common ground. We have the solar panel here which takes the sun's energy and it converts it to DC voltage. And that DC voltage comes into the charge controller. So from the solar panel, the voltage goes to the charge controller which controls how much voltage is sent to the battery and to the output. The battery stores voltage um, until it's needed and then charge controller, get the voltage go back to the charge controller. And you can see how much voltage is on the battery here on this voltmeter. And then from the charge controller, the voltage goes to this power inverter, which converts the DC to AC voltage. And then over here on the side, you see that we have uh, an AC outlet, which takes that AC voltage from the inverter and you can plug in your cell phones or your laptops into that. And we also have two USB devices or USB plugs that produce five volts. 
and you can charge your cell phones with those. of ourselves here at the UAH campus. We are incredibly proud of our senior design project. It is our hope that we will inspire future students at UAH to pursue green energy projects. We appreciate the opportunity to share our project with you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We are honored that our project will be considered for the Fall Salmon Engineering Design.